everybody, Simon here at Driving Spirit uh, with the privilege of road testing this fabulous 1978 GS1220 Club. We've just put a new clutch in it and uh, we've had the flywheel skimmed. Uh, we have uh, sorted out the Tiki Speedo, we've sorted out hydraulic leaks hopefully and uh, engine oil leaks and um, now it's just a, a glorious trip down memory lane driving this fab car to uh, just make sure everything's okay. A little bit smelly where we've had everything out and clean stuff, but uh, that will soon go. And uh, yeah, these engines, these 1220 flat four air-cooled engines are as smooth as a turbine. They're absolutely incredible. Um, just it's, when you consider the uh, competition at the time, uh, these cars in 1978 were competing with Ford Escorts, uh, Hillman Avengers, um, Chrysler Avengers, whatever, uh, Vauxhall Vivas. This was a revelation in comparison. And the way that the hydro pneumatic suspension uh, and the center point steering geometry combined to plant this car on the road is absolutely unbelievable. It, these cars feel like they're literally vacuuming up the road in front of you. They're so solid on the road. I love this single spoke steering wheel, which is a permanent reminder of Citroen's uh, avant-garde thinking. Uh, the idea being that um, uh, in the event of a, of a collision, the steering wheel would drive you in towards the car and keep you safe away from the windscreen. Um, but just what a beautiful, planted ride this is. Absolutely fabulous. And, and a four-door a four family car powered by a mere 1220cc engine, air-cooled. It was revol revolutionary in the day. No wonder that the car uh, achieved Car of the Year in 1970. It, it's, it's difficult, I, I could keep going, but I think I'll just let you enjoy the, uh, the experience. We've got a little bit of wind noise. It's possibly me not having the strength in my right arm to get the window up, but... Uh, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. We, we've we gone backwards in the last 40 years. I haven't driven any modern car with suspension and ride to even compete with this. Uh, and this car's 40 years old. Backwards. Backwards progress. So enjoy it. Enjoy it because they don't make cars like this anymore. safety of these cars as well you know modern cars have airbags and um, uh, other um, paraphernalia that uh, tries to keep you safe in the event of an accident but uh, Citroen's thinking back in the uh, in the 60s and the 70s was such that they were trying to work out how to avoid an accident in the first place which is active safety and so I've already mentioned that this car has um, something called center point steering geometry. And that means that the way that the front uh, suspension and steering is engineered uh, is, um, it's designed in such a way that if one of the front wheels were to experience a blowout, you literally wouldn't even be able to feel it on the steering wheel. There'd be no tugging, no, no, and because of the hydro pneumatic uh, suspension as well, you, you literally would not even feel 
the event happening, you just hear a noise. And um, uh, they used to um, show this off in their adverts by uh, driving a car between two lorries at uh, 100 kilometers an hour and detonating one of the front tires uh, and showing that the car um, deviated by less than less than half a foot um, absolutely remarkable uh, that these cars could be controlled in the event of something as potentially catastrophic as that so you know really really clever engineering this this is why uh, I lament the passing of these amazing days um, when Citroens were so incredible. Look at this, we're at tick over, and you'd think the car had stalled if you couldn't see it on the rev counter. It's so smooth. Well, I think we've had a successful innings on this one, and um, it, in a way, I'm looking forward to giving it back to the customer to see the smile on his face, and in another way, I, um, I'd rather not. I'd rather keep it. So this is Simon Day signing out for Driving Spirit. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.